Our senses allow us to experience the world around us. Imagine the world without sound. One of those children was Thomas Kurlowski. Born deaf, his parents worried that he might never be able to hear or talk. I remember holding him when he was a baby and thinking, all these things I say to him, he can't hear me. When you, by age one, we would have lost a very delicate window of opportunity for him to learn to hear and then learn to speak. Fortunately, families like the Kurlowskis have access to university hospitals where our Ear, Nose and Throat Institute is restoring the senses through innovation and discovery. Advances in medicine, surgery and technology are allowing all of us to lead longer, healthier lives. University Hospitals is at the forefront of providing comprehensive care and achieving our mission to heal, to teach and to discover. And the Ear, Nose, and Throat Institute is one prime example of how we do that every day. Nationally recognized for providing advanced compassionate care for children and adults, the UH ENT Institute is now ranked in the top 20 in the country, according to U.S. News & World Report, making it one of the fastest rising institutes at university hospitals. Our ENT Institute is a fantastic group of physicians and healthcare providers who really have the opportunity to impact people's lives every single day. Our patients are getting a second chance on experiencing life through restored senses. If you think about what we do, restoring smell, taste, the ability to eat, to swallow, to speak, to hear, these are the principal differentiators of what make us human. And what we do every day is restore those capacities in people who have lost them. Our ENT experts are making all the difference in the lives of patients and families like the Kurlowskis, who were overjoyed when baby Thomas arrived, looking as perfect as could be. But two days later, his newborn hearing test revealed that Thomas was profoundly deaf. At that time when, when we got the diagnosis, there were so many things that went through my mind that I was so worried about his future when I heard those words. Thomas, um, he, he's deaf. That fear turned to hope when the Kurlowskis turned to the renowned cochlear implant program at university hospitals where the experts recommended cochlear implants. What the cochlear implant does is in essence replace the inner ear that's diseased or defective. And it has a microphone which picks up external sound and bypasses the diseased inner ears and then directly stimulates the auditory nerve that goes to the brain to provide hearing. Are you a good boy? Yeah. We knew by age one that we had to get him a cochlear implant or else we'd have lost a very delicate window of opportunity for him to learn to hear and then learn to speak. Now Thomas is hearing and speaking just fine, which makes Thomas a pretty happy little guy. I hear real good. Today, Thomas is doing all the normal activities that any other little boy his age would be doing. He is unstoppable. Remarkably, Thomas is one of over 700 patients treated at UH's cochlear implant program one of the top five programs in the world and a vital component of our ENT Institute. Obviously that's good for you. We have to be the poster child for the mission of University Hospitals, which is to heal, to teach, and discover. The results of our research are improving the lives of patients every day. But I make my living as a surgeon. The paradox here is if we're lucky, I'll never have to do a cochlear implant surgery again because we'll have cured deafness. Curing deafness. Restoring the senses. Restoring lives. What a good boy. Thanks to UH and Dr. McGarry and the whole cochlear implant team, my little boy can hear me say I love you. 
what could be more special than the gift of hearing? And that's what Thomas has now.